Hello everyone, welcome to another trying new makeup video, or should I say trying new affordable slash drugstore makeup. I was in Ulta yesterday and I noticed immediately a lot of new displays over in the part of the store that is the more affordable or drugstore section. Something I noticed right away were the new BH Cosmetics 16 Pan Travel Palettes. I decided to go for the Passion in Paris palette. Look at this color story. Many of you know how much love I have for these BH Cosmetics Travel Palettes. I rave about them all the time. So I'm really excited to try this palette, but I also picked up a new mascara. This is the Bambi Oversized Eye. NYX had a couple of new things on display, but unfortunately, a lot of it was sold out. But I did manage to get my hands on one of the new eyeshadow and liner primers. I have not tried a new eyeshadow primer, especially not a drugstore eyeshadow primer, in a long, long time. I'm really looking forward to trying this and hoping that it works well. I have all four, well actually there are five new shades of the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. These I actually purchased at Walgreens, not at um, Ulta. One of my viewers had left me a comment in a recent video, I don't remember which one, but she said that Maybelline was coming out with new shades of the Lifter Glosses and I was so excited because I love these so much. So. I got four of them when I was at Ulta. They did have them as well, and they had a fifth color that I did not see at Walgreens. And that fifth shade looked pretty dark, so I didn't buy it. But I will be showing you swatches of all four of these new Lifter Gloss shades. And then these were new from Milani. These are the Supercharged Cheek and Lip Multi Sticks. So let's start with the NYX eyeshadow primer. It's actually shadow and liner primer. So maybe if I apply this along my lower lash lines, it'll help my lower lash line makeup stay on better. So I purchased the shade Light. I think I saw four shades on display. Now right off the bat, it feels nice. It's sinking in very quickly. I'm not having to do a lot of blending. And as you can see, it's sheer. I like how quickly it's drying. I really do like that, but it doesn't feel dry on my lids. It doesn't feel like my lids are getting tight. Now I'm gonna run a little bit under here. Got more on my lashes than it did on my skin, but maybe it's better if I use my finger for this. And I will check back at the end of the day to give you my thoughts on how everything stayed. And if I can't come back, because I am going to a party tonight, um, I will at least put my thoughts up in a caption on the screen. So I did purchase a new to me concealer yesterday at Ulta. This is the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. It says that it is an 18 hour hydrating concealer. And I chose the shade Light. Ooh, I like the applicator. That's sort of interesting for a concealer wand. At least to me, I can't think of any concealers that I own that have this type of applicator. Ooh, it's kind of thick. I cannot find any of my e.l.f. concealer sponges. I am running out today and buying another one because I cannot live without my e.l.f. camo concealer sponge. I can't. Well, whoa, I think the light may be a little too light for me. But it's blending out nicely and it's giving some really good coverage. We'll have to see how it looks once all the makeup's done and of course after a few hours. By the way, this beauty blender is damp. When I use the e.l.f. camo concealer sponge, I do not use it damp. Why does this eye look better? You know, some days filming goes a lot smoother than other days. I just noticed that my light, I have two lights on either side of my ring light, it is facing against the back wall. It's not even on me. There we go. Does that look better? It definitely made the concealer look better. 
that just goes to show you, lighting can make such a difference. Before I get to the next new product, I'm going to bronze up my skin using this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I decided to change things up from using my Milani bronzer that I use all the time. Ooh, okay, it is time for the eyes. And this Passion in Paris palette. Where to start, where to start, what to do. There are so many beautiful colors in this palette. I'm gonna start with the shade Notre Dame. This is pigmented and blendable. Just what I expect from my beloved BH Cosmetics. 16 pan palettes. I don't always feel the same love for their other palettes, but these 16 pan travel palettes have not let me down yet. Gosh, I wanna do something fun. I kinda of wanna do blue. So I'm gonna take the shade Montmartre. I did take a couple years of French in high school, but high school was a really long time ago for me. So please don't judge my pronunciations. And I'm just gonna pack this on the outer corner. I'm impressed there's really no fallout. So I'm just putting this on the outer corners of my eye. So I'm just gonna do one eye for now, just to make sure that I like where this is going. And now I think I'm gonna take this Sacre Coeur Wow, this palette is really going to make me struggle, isn't it? Pronouncing these um, shade names. So I'm gonna go at the very top and blend that out. This might end up being one of the most colorful looks I've ever done on my channel. Now I am going to Use a flat brush and the shade Grand Palais, and I'm gonna pop that all over the lid. I am really loving the pigmentation of these shadows. They are just so good. They truly rival high-end shadows, in my humble opinion. I think I'm gonna try just using my fingers to apply Arc de Triomphe, this beautiful shimmering purple. Apply that all over the lid. Ooh, so pretty. Um, look at that. And I'm putting my chin up and looking down so I can access all of my lid space because my eyes are hooded. Oh, yes. Now I'm gonna take a tissue, fold it in half, line it up like so, and I'm gonna go into the shade Muse de Orsay, which is a matte black, sort of a grayish black. I wanted to take the tissue away so I'm not muffled in front of the microphone. But what I'm doing is I am not lining all the way across, but I'm just lining the outer corners. And now I am going to clean up this angle. And I am removing and sharpening that angle. So clearly this is not an everyday out the door makeup look. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Champs-Élysées on a flat brush and pop that right underneath the brow and sort of blend out the upper portion of the shadow. And then now I wanna take a little concealer on a synthetic brush and also use that to 
straighten up the line and add a little bit of coverage where I removed with the Q-tip. Now I just want to do something very subtle on the lower lash lines. So I think I'm going to take the, maybe a mixture of the Notre Dame and the Sacre Coeur and just lightly run that along my lower lash lines. And then using a tiny, tiny pencil brush, I'm gonna go into the Musée d'Orsay, which is that blackish or grayish black. And I'm just putting that, hopefully I'm in frame, right here on the outer corner to connect the line this wing to the lower lash line. And I'm not making it strong at all. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I will come back and we will try this new mascara. Okay, both eyes are done. Here's what they look like. I do still have to do the mascara. But before I do that, I do want to add a little bit of this Eiffel Tower shade to my tear ducts. Oh, by the way, I did already curl my lashes, which is a very important step in my opinion. And now we're going to open this new Bambi Oversized Eye Mascara. Now, as you can see, I have barely visible lashes. They are blonde, they are fine, they are fairly non-existent. So let's see what this mascara does. Let's see what kind of applicator it has. Oh, I probably should have checked first. This has a rubberized bristle wand. which I never ever have good luck with. There's going to be silence for this part. Well, at least for me, I'll add some music for you. I gotta say, it's not bad. The reason why I was moving so slowly well, I'll likely speed it up for the video, but whenever I have one of these rubber bristle wands, I have a tendency to somehow just always, or eight times out of 10, poke myself in the eye. <laughs> I have no idea why it makes no sense, but I just do. So that's why I move very, very slowly when applying mascara with an applicator like this. It definitely gives length. It's definitely very black, although I did purchase intense black, so it should be. I think if I used a lash comb, because it is clumping a little bit, I might really like this. It didn't hold the curl very well though. Okay, I don't hate it. I definitely think it made a difference. There might be a learning curve to the application, and I don't know about you, but for me, whenever I let a mascara sit, for a week or so, it always ends up working even better. It's a weird phenomenon, but it happens to me a lot. So I am not giving up on this. I'm going to keep trying it. And as I think I stated earlier, look for updates on these products in my monthly favorites and fails video. Okay, now I'm moving on to the Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip Multi Sticks. So this is the shade Peach Thrill. I'm just gonna use this right from the stick. Oh, look at that color. It's pretty. It's got some sheen to it. It's pretty sheer, but not bad. This would be great for a um, just on the go makeup look. It's blending out like a dream. It's not emphasizing any texture. Ooh, I like this. It's very lightweight. It feels like air. 
It's not a greasy gel consistency at all. And as you can see, you can build it up for more intensity, but because my eyes are so intense, I obviously don't want intense cheeks as well. I mean, if you do, if you like that look, then by all means, I always preach, do what you like. But for me, as a makeup artist, I feel like there needs to be balance. And if my eyes are very strong, I need everything else to be sort of on the more subtle side. So I think this amount is just perfect. It's probably showing up a little bit lighter on camera, maybe a little bit more washed out, but trust me, it's enough. And now I'm going to attempt to use this highlighter. Um, hmm. Now this one looks like it has a little glitter to it. What do you guys think? Hmm. I don't know. I'm undecided at this point. And these are both infused with emollient oils and squalane. So I feel like if you have very dry skin and you're someone who likes a very minimal makeup look, you're gonna love these. And even though I have some other lip products to try, I want to apply a little bit of this to my lips just to see what the color looks like. I have a feeling it's not going to be very long wearing. I sort of feel like it is going to disappear after about 30 minutes or um, especially after drinking or eating. But I don't know, I will follow up with you on this as well. I do want to try these new Lifter Gloss Shades. From left to right on the screen are Opal, Brass, Ruby, and Heat. This shade, Brass, is the one that I'm most excited about. I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural. Now let's try Brass. This is a really nice combo. And pretty perfect for this overall look because it's not taking the focus away from the eyes. And in the tube, there seems to be sort of a rose gold look to it. It doesn't really pick up on the swatch and it doesn't really pick up on the lips, but you can tell that it is giving them a little bit more fullness and a little bit of extra dimension. Okay, the more I look at this Milani highlighter, the more I don't like it because I feel like it's just um, a little bit too greasy feeling for my oily skin. It feels a bit sticky. It really doesn't dry down. The blush dried down. This. Mm, I don't know about that. Let's try another shade of the gloss. This is 013 Ruby. Oh, uh, yes. This is a beautiful color. I think this looks nice with the overall look as well. All right, up next is Heat. I like it. It's not bad. It's a pretty, just neutral rose. I don't dislike it. It's just not my favorite of these new shades. And then lastly, there's the shade Opal. And Opal is just a clear base with some very, very faint, very faint opalescent sparkles. And I've tried this one already on its own and it looks just like a clear gloss. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair it with, well, first I'm gonna apply a little bit more lip pencil. So I just went and grabbed my Revlon Ultra HD Matte Liquid Lip Color, and I'm going to apply this first. And now I'm going to put Opal on top. Very pretty combo. The more I look at this, the more I am not loving that highlight. Ugh. And the blush. I do like the blush. I just feel like it's, there needs to be something pinker on my cheeks right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Revlon blush in Rose Balm and pat a little bit on my cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair and put some clothes on and come back and share with you some final thoughts on these products. Okay, so I didn't really do my hair because as I said earlier, I do have an event to go to tonight and I have to redo my hair. So I just threw it up in a scrunchie and I felt like I should put on something that had a little bit of purple in it to match the eye look. I think you could tell that I am loving this Paris palette, Passion in Paris palette. I cannot wait to play around with it some more. It is just so beautiful and lives up to the quality that I have seen in the other BH Cosmetics 16 pan travel palettes that I rave about all the time. And no, BH Cosmetics has still not reached out to me about being on their PR list. NYX eyeshadow and eyeliner primer. I cannot give you my full thoughts on it right now because I have only used it just today. And clearly my eye makeup has not been on long enough for me to give you a fair assessment on how well it works. There will either have already been a caption on the screen when I was applying it, or I will add a caption on the screen now, or I will come back and update you at the end of tonight. I'm gonna use this again for my event tonight, and that will be a real test. Hopefully, hopefully it works as well as my other eyeshadow primers. I'm not even sure I wanna risk it. I don't know, I don't know. So the Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip Products. I still don't love the highlighter. The blush I did like, but I do wanna use it a couple more times before I give you my final thoughts on it. It's nice and as I said during the application, it's great for just an everyday out the door quick look and I think drier skins are really going to love it. The Bambi Oversized Eye Mascara. I will follow up with you on this. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can, but I did go and add some corner lashes. I can't help myself. I know so many of you prefer to see the final look without lashes, but especially when I'm doing such a dramatic eye, I feel like it needs a little something. It needs a little something to take it to the next level. I mean, I think the look was pretty without the lashes, and if I had already really dark and full lashes, I probably would never feel the need or very rarely feel the need to apply even just corner lashes, but um, I'm not that blessed. <laughs> I'm not blessed in the lash department, so, you know, to each their own, and I prefer a little bit of oomph to my look. The Catrice Concealer seems pretty nice. I've looked in the mirror a couple times since the initial application, and so far, so good. The lip glosses, the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I would say my favorite shades are Ruby and Brass, Although Opal is a great topper, I really, really like this look. And the shade names of the Revlon Ultra HD and the NYX lip pencil will be in the description box. So that is it. Once in a while when I do these videos, I have a lot more products to demonstrate and talk about. But I think this is the time of year where there is a little bit of a lull and then the new fall releases will start rolling out in August, and then of course more in September. And then before we know it, there will be holiday releases. 
oh my goodness, this year is just flying by. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I do upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me on Instagram and TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.